Okay, week seven and eight of the Sling TSI build, empanage and wing kit. So I was um, in the process of getting the uh, tail kit or the empanage kit signed off. The last piece was the, the rudder that was completed as well. Uh, the inspector has been around and um, uh, pre pretty much all the sections have been now signed off and entered into the book so that's good. Uh, only the, the rudder because I, could, I didn't finish the the top uh, fiberglass bit just because I haven't received the strobe light or decided on the strobe light so apart from that all of the empanage is done and uh, so yeah so that's all now completed so I'm happy I can pretty much get on to the next stage of the build uh, yeah the the only thing left to do is uh, is to mount the strobe light so I haven't click or I haven't riveted the last that small piece of skin at the top everything else is done so that's just left on clicos yeah and then I moved uh, my horizontal stabilizer elevator uh, into a wing stand that I made into the house uh, I need to add some bits to it to make it a proper wing stand when one of the first wing is completed and I kind of prepared uh, the next step was to kind of um, prepare the garage for the next stage of the build for the wings and the fuselage the main thing was that the workbench was too high so I had to kind of um, reduce the height of it uh, so basically chopped all four legs off a little bit uh, to get to a, a decent height uh, to work on both the fuselage and when the jigs for the wing uh, is on uh, it should be at a comfortable height so and then um, unfortunately I'm still waiting on the delivery of Allodyne so um, I've had enough uh, waiting for that so I decided to crack on with the build um, with the wings without Allodyning the parts um, uh, I even <laughs> had put an extra mental extractor fan for the Allodyning process but yeah that's uh, probably will just do the fuel tanks and the, the outer skin of the wings uh, when I do receive that and um, yeah working on the wings is, is it seems to be quite straightforward the instructions are pretty clear um, and I've seen plenty of videos of other builders um, uh, cra tackling the stage so it seems to be going quite well um, and being a uh, just a single garage size uh, need to be uh, plan a, uh, be have to plan ahead with where to put everything because space is quite tight uh, with such a, a big <laughs> component uh, working the main first process is to do the uh, rear spar sub assembly um, and then individual ribs so uh, I think this one is the is rib one here sub assembly so I think it's about 13 ribs some individual sub assemblies to put together And, and then uh, the main spar countersinking uh, about a million holes um, yeah that's quite a time consuming process um, I think I probably spent nearly four or five hours uh, doing uh, all the, the countersinking of the both sides of the the main spar there's a lot of holes to be done and um, Yeah, and then once that was done, it was pretty much ready to be mounted onto the jig. Um, so, and I didn't pull the fume, fume, or few of the other uh, ribs. Um, only the underside of the ribs need to be dimpled. Um, um, the, cent the center ones, um, obviously these forward ones that ahead of the front sp main spar needs to be dimpled both sides. Uh, some of the assemblies are a little bit. Uh, there's a few fair few components to it, but. Again, the instructions are pretty straightforward. There's nothing uh, complicated in it. Uh, it comes together quite well. And um, yeah, the the rear spar, the spar assembly. Uh, at the moment, everything is just clear cord in place. I haven't riveted any of the ribs to the assembly yet. That will be the next uh, step. Um, the, all the hardware is provided with the kit in terms of all the bushings and everything uh, so 
and the the torque tube uh, that was uh, that's been put in between rib one and rib five I think uh, it, it fits in the aileron push rods I don't have it yet I think that uh, from uh, from some of the other builders that can be put in even after the whole wing is completely done so I'll just crack on with it uh, as it is the uh, yeah with the with the wing yeah as you can see it's quite tight uh, where in my workshop in terms of space uh, takes up pretty much the whole but again it was planned I you know it should give me enough uh, space to work with so where my uh, one of the other workbench is uh, that's where the fuel tank would sit so it should be fine um, and the solid rivets that are done at the factory uh, all the solid rivets are only on the main spar and that's all done uh, there are some pop rivets as well on the main spar which is being completed by the factory so in that assembly uh, this is one of the reasons I cho chose to sling TSI that I didn't want to do any solid rivets on my own I think that's a difficult uh, skill to master uh, with pop rivets I don't think you can make uh, much mistakes um, yeah and the yeah the yeah the the top tube that's for the the flap um, the assemblies and um, I've st I've got the flaps and aileron all the components left uh, that will be the next stage of the build once the fuel tanks are also built and um, I think the next step in this would be to mount the underside skin and uh, make sure and clear coat and uh, dimple that and um, uh, and all that then roll out and take the skin off clean out all the all, all the material that's left from the drilling process yeah and this is where the fuel tank would sit um, the the other skin covers uh, these baffles or uh, ribs and obviously behind that you'll have the ailerons and and the flap so it's coming along quite well um, I'm so pretty happy with the progress so far uh, on the rear spar um, so that's the only bit that has been fully riveted um, the the other ribs are still just clear cord in place and the yeah so I've still got um, so this is my temporary uh, wing stand uh, I need to finally but before doing the final riveting I'll have to make sure they're both fully level um, my hardware uh, board as I call it is now uh, been replaced with all the wing kit hardware rather than the empennage all the empennage pretty much all of it has been used up I'm left with a few rivets but um, obviously we'll end up using it on this one